Hi, my name is Abby Tipler and I'm one of the surgeons at Veterinary Specialist Services and today we're just going to be talking about the placement of a central line in a, in a cat. Uh, so we have this Miele central line, um, it's a five and a half French that we're just opening up here and then in terms of our other equipment we've just basically got a suture kit and some drapes. Okay, and then I just like to put everything in the order that I'm going to need it. So basically we're going to draw blood um, out through the, through the catheter and then the guide wire is going to be placed through the catheter. Then we're going to dilate the jugular vein and then we're going to place our catheter. And that should all become clear in just a moment. Uh, so at this stage we get our assistant to hold up the jugular vein without touching the sterile field and then we place our drapes once we're happy with the position of the vein. Okay, so I've moved everything that we need over here. So this is our catheter that we're going to insert into the jugular. This is our guide wire. Um, this is the, the dilator and then this is the catheter. So we're going to place our catheter into our jugular vein. Can you just hold that skin down a little bit there as well? A little bit more. And then we're just going to connect up the guide wire to our catheter. And then we thread the guide wire so that we're really comfortable that it's a way in. Holding onto our guide wire, we remove our catheter. And I need to place a little bit of pressure, and then we insert the dilator. Can you just place a little bit of pressure there, Vicky? <sighs> okay, and then we remove the dilator, place a little bit more pressure, and then insert our catheter over the guide wire.
And it's really important at all times just to make sure that you don't lose your guide wire into the patient. So we want our guide wire to exit out through our brown port while we insert it. And we're just holding onto the guide wire as we, as we push the catheter in place. And then once our catheter's in place, we've been always holding our guide wire and we just remove our guide wire. Close off our port. And then we just need to suture that in place.